small island developing state. Trinidad and Tobago is very diverse. Trinidad and Tobago is really a multicultural microcosm of what exists in the world. But the cultures have mixed to a really special blend. When you look at a world map, you see the name Trinidad and Tobago, you hardly see the country. So that tells you one time that we are rather, you know, small. now is not really whether climate change is real or not or whether it's human induced or not. The fact of the matter is the data is overwhelming, temperature is increasing and there are implications for precipitation and the intensity of storms. So the real question is what do we do? How do we adapt? IPCC has just completed its uh, fifth assessment report and with regard to the Caribbean it's expected that there will be a general tendency to drying out towards the year 2100. There are implications for the region, of course, with regard to agriculture, the water scarcity, and things that then we need to factor into adaptation. So we have a list of adaptation measures that have been prioritized based on cost-benefit analysis that's been done by some top economists. That helps the, the government then in their decision-making. We as scientists are not prescriptive. We do not tell governments what to do. All we do are present options. methodology associated with this is a methodology that other countries can apply. Other countries, particularly within the region, need to be able to determine what are the costs associated with adaptation because they will have to allocate resources to adapting to the impacts of climate change. Patrick Trin was pleased to be part of that project because it actually took the earlier vulnerability assessment studies that were done by the specialists and put the economic analysis on those studies to give us a cost-benefit ratio as to which ones are more useful, whether it's shoreline stabilization, whether it is mangrove rehabilitation, whether it is actually building dikes and so forth, retention funds. It gives us an idea of each one of the recommendations and the cost-benefit ratio to petrotrain so we can better justify it for implementation. We have been working on the diversification of the economy of Trinidad and Tobago. And this is in our efforts to move away from the dependence on oil and gas. I think the findings of the study will certainly assist us in planning for the future. 
in ensuring that our projects are as cost effective as possible. Policy is critical and we really need to have good policies and be able to implement those policies. Make policies that are based on good science, good understanding, good learning.